To write the formula for aluminum acetate, let's first write the element symbol for aluminum. So that's just Al. And then the acetate, you won't find this on the periodic table. When you see something that ends in Ate, it's going to be a polyatomic ion. So in this case, with acetate, it's a polyatomic ion, we either memorize that it's CH3COO minus, or we could look it up on a table if we were allowed to do that. So here's a table. And we find the acetate ion right here. So the acetate ion is CH3COO minus. Sometimes you'll see it written this way. That's okay as well. It's the same thing. So acetate ion CH3COO minus. So we write the acetate ion and note that it has that negative charge, that one minus charge. So since we have a metal in this group of nonmetals here, this is going to be an ionic compound. We have to balance the charge. If we look up aluminum on the periodic table, we can see that aluminum right here, aluminum has a three plus ionic charge. So we know the ionic charge for aluminum. So let's write three plus in there. And since this is a neutral compound, it doesn't say ion after it, it's just aluminum acetate, we need the charges to balance. So we have the one minus, and that's for the whole acetate ion here. And then we have the aluminum, three plus. So for this to balance out to zero, we need to put parentheses and a three here. Three times one minus, that's three minus, three minus three plus, that adds up to zero. This is the formula for aluminum acetate. Let's remove these symbols here. So we have our aluminum acetate. Sometimes you'll see this written with the aluminum at the end. The reason that's done is if you look at this, the acetate ion, that comes from acetic acid. In this H here at the end, that's what's involved in the chemical reactions. So you can kind of think of the aluminum replacing the hydrogen. That's why they place the aluminum sometimes after the acetate ion. But either way, this is the formula for aluminum acetate, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.